come home, come on home <laughs> to Big Y. To Hi. Everybody Hi, knows that song. How are you? Hi, good to see you. Guys. Good to see you. Mike Furtick from uh, Big Y. One where of the head chefs up? over there. You're up in Mass, right? Yep. And where's your home office? Uh, it is in Springfield, Massachusetts. Springfield, Massachusetts. How'd you yeah. guys do in that bad weather the other day? We, uh, we got hit nervous. again, but everyone's fine. No one got hurt, okay. so yeah, that's good. Good, yeah. good, good news. So uh, Mike always comes on and shows us how to grill with all the great stuff you can find right at Big Y, but I'm amazed because I was looking at these kebabs and they look so perfect, and usually you see kebabs with like tiny little chunks yeah, of chicken. Yeah, that's what I see. He used chicken thighs. Why did you use chicken thighs? Chicken thighs. These are Big Y's uh, Sam the Butcher brand, uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, chicken thighs have uh, a little bit more. Uh, it's only nine calories per Serving four ounce serving. Seriously? And 36 grams of uh, 36 calories and nine grams of, of milligrams of cholesterol more than chicken breast. Now, and I'm not so, I, I don't do too much of this meat shopping, but these are significantly less expensive than a breast, correct? correct. Yep. And, but, which is and, great, they, right? and they generally, yeah. you know, I've used I never thought to put them on a grill, but usually they call for like chicken thighs when you're doing a crock pot or anything that cooks for a long time. Right. So is this because they're gonna be more tender, they can cook for a longer time or I, I think the, the, the general th the thing is they're not there's no, they're not bone in. So the boneless thighs you can these I laid these out so that you I skewered them flat, straight through with two skewers so that yep. they'll stay open and okay. they're in their shape. Um, and again the the, the the thing that makes them uh, more attractive for grilling is the fact that they're boneless. The, the, like you said, the bone-in would be something that you would make fricassee or stew, or you think yeah. of it more of in the winter months. Exactly. Yeah. Um, or fried, but but in this case, they're perfect for grilling. You can see right here. Oh, yummy! Well, how this, so? Take us through. What's the easy? Yep. What do you do first? You just put them skewers in and then lay them right on the grill, and then how yeah. long do you before you turn them? Well, this one here has been on it for a good three minutes on this side. All right. Yeah. And. When you turn them over, you can move them again to the low side, like I said, to let them finish cooking. But they'll take about five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes yep. of not moving. Straight through, yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. And the squirrels are at 400. But you preheated it, obviously. But you sear them on both sides first before you let them sit on the low side? Yeah, you want to get grill marks. I'm having an argument with I'm this pepper over here, Kara. It will not come on my phone. Oh, hey, my gosh. you want to ring All my right, bell, so a little lady? Bit of a <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just put a whole pepper on the grill? Is that what you do? Just throw yeah, that's it on? what you do. You just throw them on. Yeah. Right? That is a roasted poblano, which is a component in the salsa, which is really tasty. Those peppers are. Um... Hang on one second. You want to ring my poblano, lady? <laughs> I got my bells wrong. I'm sorry. And how do you know when to close the cover and not close the cover? Well, just just keep the heat in. That's all. Okay. And to keep me from melting too. So, and the salsa is this fairly is easy to do. Look at the salsa. Yeah. Nectarine salsa I'm, with I'm cilantro. I'm, sali I'm salivating. I, whatever that word is. Yes, yes. that's it. But look seriously, I've never had nectarine salsa. But doesn't it sound like it would be even more delicious than mango? So wait, this is just regular nectarines cut up. Yep. And, and then you've added red onion. Right. And the only tough part about cleaning the nectarines is. You can't, you have to, to pit them, you have to actually go in after the pit. Okay. Yeah. Which is just cutting around on this side, this portion, okay. this way, right? All right. And then you have to put the knife, the knife in. Yeah. And once you get this side off, you Did can go you back, like yeah, you can go back in for the pit this way. Okay. So you got to just kind of cut around. Yeah. And then give that to your kids and say, hey, get all the meat off of this Yeah, pit. you have to clean it, right. You have to clean this. And then it ends now, up just looking like this, which right. if you had extra, I've seen people just grill those too, right? You can yep. grill it with yep. it. Can I have that, Mike? That, yep. This is known, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you know this, but in the inside, this is known as a brad. That's what they call it. It's a brad pit. <laughs> Wait, Thank can you. I just tell you they're so in season? This is so juicy. Oh my god. Okay, so, mm, what, my that. mouth is watering. I just licked it. You don't want that. <laughs> okay, so the last components to the salsa, we have all the ingredients here. The roasted poblanos, the reason I show that is when you can skin these. This, oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm throwing the pits at people. Sorry. Scallion. This is serrano chili, which is that's where the kick comes from from the salsa. Oh yeah. Um, and this is the roasted poblano that's been diced. Oh, god. Well, there's a lot of peppers going on in there. Yeah, and then the lime juice. A little lime juice? Yeah. Mix so there's it up. no oil, just yep. lime juice. Right? No oil in there, just lime juice? No oil. Only a tad bit of salt. You can salt it's always to taste now. You don't need it because you have a lot of flavor in what's in there. And the reason I showed the roasted poblanos is that these, the chilies being what they are, you can, this is just like a regular roasted bell pepper, but you yeah. take the skins off and the right. seeds out. And the there skin, if you just eat the skin, it's try not that hot, man. right? <laughs> just, give me, try, give, um, just give me a little taste. Right. The seeds, <laughs> the seeds, the seeds the and hot the hot ribs have all the heat, the right. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. Well, Mike, we are out of time, but I just want everything you can find at Big Y, and we'll put the information on our website for that nectarine salsa. That looks phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that is wild. I'm sure that everyone's so happy that you ate with the serving spoon. Yeah, here, try it. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us. Come on, eat her. Wait, right now.